Hello everybody, this is Dr. Derek Strachan here with Divine Spine Chiropractic and welcome to this week's health tip. This week we're going to talk about children. Do you want to have a smarter child? Do you want your nieces and nephews to be smarter? Well, listen to this. So, this is according to the day, Health Day News. Kids who are physically fit have faster and stronger brain responses than their less fit peers. A study leader, Charles Hillman, a kinesiology and community health professor at the University of Illinois explains. Our study shows that the brain function of higher fit kids is different in the sense that they appear to be able to better allocate resources in the brain towards aspects of cognition that support reading comprehension. So these researchers, are tr it's true, like there's no doubt that that happens, but they're not really analyzing blood capacity, like oxygen in the blood and those types of things. They didn't mark that, but we know through other research that the more fit you are, the more efficient your body is going to work. So the healthier your body is, the more efficient it will work. Which is why chiropractic becomes extremely important. Not just for you, but for your children as well. Your brain cannot communicate 100% of its health capacity if your spine is out of alignment and affecting those signals of communication between, between brain and body. So we correct those subluxation patterns, then your body is going to efficiently communicate to the brain and back to the body which means your kids are going to be smarter because the system is using less energy for doing things because it's efficiently working. So your immune system goes up, your digestive system works better, your respiratory system, your circulatory, everything works better with chiropractic care. That's the whole purpose behind what we do is to increase function. So if you want smarter and healthier kids, make sure they're getting adjusted as well as feeding them and letting them run and play as much as possible and not stuck in front of some computer game. So that's this week's health tip. And remember everybody, healthy, healthy habits. If you're traveling, stay committed to your health routines that we talked about last week. Drinking more water, exercising, moving your body in ways that you don't normally do when you're traveling. Don't lose your routines. I'm committed to it. Hope you are too. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.